Hi, this is Chris Cook from 3M Commercial Graphics. Today we're going to talk about uh, doing some adhesion tests on films before you apply some wall graphics. One of the challenges you have with wall graphics is not knowing, you know, is my vinyl, is my graphic actually going to adhere to this paint? Uh, in a lot of cases, you don't actually know what kind of paint this is. You ask the customer and they'll tell you, oh, it's, it's kind of beige. So what we want to do is figure out, is there some way that we can actually test the paint to see how well our vinyl is actually going to adhere to it. And there actually is quite a simple test you can do to, to figure that out. A couple of simple tools that we need. First of all, squeegee, a rivet brush. We're also going to have a sample of the film that, uh, that we're going to use for the graphic. Um, and I've cut this piece of film into a strip that's exactly 25 millimeters wide and about 300 millimeters long. The actual length doesn't matter so much, but it does need to be exactly 25 millimeters wide. That's important. And I've then just used a, an office hole punch to punch a couple of holes in the top. And you'll see what, what those are for in a moment. Then the fourth thing that we need is just a spring balance. It's like a little fishing scale, um, but this one only reads up to, uh, to 1,000 grams, so uh, probably not a great day's fishing. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to select a part of the wall to apply our piece of film. You're best off choosing somewhere that is behind a door or behind a cabinet or wherever because one of the things that can happen with this test is potentially we may actually pull some paint off the wall. And actually we do need to know that because if the paint's not well bonded to the wall, that can cause problems with the application. So choose somewhere where if a bit of paint does come off, it's not going to cause uh, too much of a problem. Anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start uh, removing the film from the liner. And I'm actually going to fold those, um, those two holes together so that they form that kind of uh, point to put the uh, the spring balance in. I'm now going to apply the piece of film to the wall. And now use my rivet brush just to make sure that that film is very well uh, worked into that, uh, into that slight texture in the paint. This paint does have a little bit of texture. The, rivet br the bristles on the rivet brush just help it uh, make, get good adhesive contact. Okay, our film's applied. What we need to do now is just basically leave it for 15 minutes. That's just to give the adhesive a little bit of time to flow into that surface uh, and, uh, and start to build up some good adhesion. Uh, so we'll cut now and uh, we'll come back in about 15 minutes and actually do our adhesion test. Okay, well thanks to the magic of video editing, it's now 15 minutes <laughs> later, so it's, uh, it's now time to, to do our test. So what we're going to do is is take the spring balance and we're actually going to use this to remove that uh, strip of film from the wall. And that's going to tell us how well that film has actually adhered. So what I'm going to do is put the hook through the, um, through the holes in the top and I'm going to use the spring balance to actually remove the film from the wall. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the spring balance down very close to the wall, almost parallel. I don't want to pull it out like this, that's going to give me weird results. So keep it down nice and close to the wall and I want to apply enough force so that it's coming off the wall at about five millimeters or so a second. So about that sort of, uh, about that sort of speed. Now, while I'm doing this, there's two things I'm looking for. The first thing is, how is the film actually releasing from the wall? Is it peeling away nice and smoothly and consistently? Or is it kind of holding on and then just suddenly releasing and letting go in this sort of very jerky sort of motion? So first of all, I'm looking for how is it releasing from the wall? And secondly, I want to actually take a note of how many grams force is it taking to actually pull the film off the surface. So let's give that a go. So about five millimeters or so a second. Okay, now we're getting a nice, smooth, consistent release. So it's coming off the wall smoothly. And on the spring balance, I'm actually reading just over a thousand grams. And it's staying fairly consistent. Okay, so that's our test. As you can see, it only takes a, takes a few seconds to do. How do we interpret those results? Well, first of all, we consider how the film released from the wall. It came off nice and smoothly and consistently, and that's what we're looking for. If we get a film uh, and, it, uh, and we try to remove it, and 
comes off in a very sort of jerky manner, that tells us that the film's not adhering very well to that painted surface. So that's, that's not a good result. That would mean that that film's probably not going to stay on that wall. But in this case, we got a nice, smooth, consistent re release. So that's good. So the second thing that we're looking for is the actual force that it took to pull the film off the wall. Um, now, we got about a thousand grams uh, for this particular film. Now, the absolute minimum that we're looking for is probably about 250 grams. It has to be above 250, otherwise we're just not getting enough adhesion. But for a permanent graphic, we're probably looking to, for something more in the order of 450 grams or higher if we want that graphic to stay up long term. So in this case, uh, we certainly got more than 450, we got over 1,000. So what it tells us is that this particular film had a smooth, consistent release with 1,000 grams uh, release force, which is well over our 450 minimum. Uh, so that would tell us that this film is certainly adhering well enough to this particular paint uh, for us to be confident that the graphics are going to stay up there. What I would suggest is that when you do this test, uh, try a couple of different films. Uh, maybe try a cast film, uh, a calendared film, maybe some films with different adhesives, because you will often find that different films respond differently to different painted surfaces and different surface textures. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, also make sure that you choose somewhere uh, where if you do pull a little bit of paint off, that's not going to be a problem, and make sure you ask the customer's permission before you do this, uh, and let them know that one of the possible outcomes is the paint could be removed from the wall. What that tells us is, if paint does come away, that probably the surface preparation on the painting uh, wasn't all that great. But we need to know that in advance, best off to know it beforehand, rather than when you go to remove the graphics uh, after 12 months or so or whenever, that you strip all the paint off the, the customer's wall. So it's a simple test, can give you a much higher level of confidence that your graphics are going to stay on that wall uh, for the long term. So, Get yourself a few little tools uh, and if you're going to do some wall graphics, go ahead and test that paint before you start the job uh, to make sure that the graphics are going to stay where you put them.